bodies are tiny. No, they actually don't fit. Hey guys, welcome to Destin. This is actually really close to where we live. It's about a 30 minute drive away and we just love coming out here. It's beautiful. Um, this is a kind of renowned place for its beautiful white beaches. It makes the, the color of the water a beautiful emerald color. And so it's called the Emerald Coast. It's also known as the luckiest fishing village in the world actually here in Destin. And so it's a, it's a kind of cold January morning um, but we haven't been to the beach in a long time and we really love to get home out and get some sun this morning. So um, we're here with Logan. We brought our fishing stuff, we brought paddle boards. <laughs> Hudson even brought his wetsuit. I think he's gonna jump in the water and try to get some flounder or something. So it's gonna be a good day, good day outside. Hey guys, we're at the beach. It's a beautiful day and um, we wanted to take the opportunity to hang out with Logan and um, do some fishing, fishing and exploring. So the weather's not super ideal, it's freezing cold today, but um, it's the, our first day at the beach since the new year. So we're excited to um, throw our lines in and I'm actually gonna get in the water today and uh, go on the search for some flounder. We have a little um, handheld Hawaiian sling, so I'll take that, get zipped up in my wetsuit and jump in. It'll be cold, but it'll be fun. I'm kind of a wimp when it comes to um, cold, especially cold water. But the sun was so beautiful today, and um, it's been a long time since I've got my wetsuit in the water. So the way a wetsuit is designed is that it's really a tight fit on your body, but um, water does get in. It's not waterproof. Water will get in, and um, then your body, as it slowly warms up the water, it creates, it's kind of like an insulation. You know, it's like a layer of warm water um, inside this wetsuit, so it'll keep you warm. All right, so I'm gonna start off using this little uh, Yozuri Crystal Minnow. Um, it's a kind of subsurface lure, so it suspends at first, and then as you reel it and jerk it, it'll dive under the water about one, two feet. Um, I know there's a lot of predatory fish around here on the surface, like bluefish, mackerel, and stuff, so I'm gonna toss this around and see if I can get any luck. Wow, it's a little bit tight. It's how it's supposed to be. As soon as it gets wet, it stretches out a little bit. That looks really cold, actually. It feels freezing out of the water. It's gonna be probably even colder in it. Woo! 
All right, Logan, it's your turn. Nope. Yeah, you probably don't recognize me with these glasses. It's Morgan underneath here. And uh, Alyssa thinks I look like such a nerd, but I put these on. These are just these blue light glasses. I really, I don't have a prescription, but um, helps me when I'm staring at the computer for long hours. And uh, it's such a beautiful day out, but uh, I'm here at the apartment just chipping away on a sermon, actually. I got the privilege of speaking this Sunday at our church and bringing the word. So it's a huge privilege, but I'm also missing out on the action at the beach, the brothers and Logan are having a great day. I'm sure they're just really loving this weather and I'm here at the house working on this. Uh, but it's a privilege and I'm uh, the senior pastor of our local church here in Niceville. He actually came down sick this week and so um, he reached out to me and asked if I'd be willing to preach in his place. And so I was like, yeah, I'm in. But it's a privilege to, to teach and, and this year in 2022, I'm actually serving at our local church as a pastoral intern. And um, that's super cool for me because I get to spend time with um, our elders and pastor at our church and I get to learn how to apply God's word to people's lives and teach it even on occasion like, like this Sunday. So it's been really, um, really exciting. But our kind of family philosophy, the wild way, is that as a believer, wherever you are, you're at in the world, um, wherever you're planted, you need to be actively participating in, in, God's, in God's kingdom work. And so... You're either, you're either on a plane head into the mission field to teach people the gospel or you're staying back home, you're supporting missionaries and you're getting plugged in and involved at your local church. And so, so that's kind of um, one, one way I've been able to do that and serve our local church here this year is as a pastoral intern. So, so it's been great and um, we're just, I'm really enjoying it. But yeah, today it's also kind of a bummer because it's so beautiful. So hope the boys are having a great time. And in the meantime, I have to get back to work and bust out this sermon. So I was just flying the drone um, over along the coast over here and I noticed all the seagulls kind of, you know, grouped together like they were in a feeding frenzy. And so I came over uh, to check them out with the drone and um, I noticed that there's always a bonita and stuff on the top of the water and they were also, you know, eating all these little minnows or whatever. And then I noticed some dark objects in the water and it turns out they were big sharks. So um, we were down on the beach about 100 yards. So we brought all of our stuff down here, um, kind of set up our little camp over that way. Uh, Kian's actually about to hop on the paddleboard and he's going to go out and see if he can get some closer, some closer shots with the GoPro. But um, yeah, there's probably about like a couple hundred birds just right off the shore here. And the bonita are popping on the water. So Ken's gonna, yeah, hop on the paddleboard, try to get some closer shots. And um, Logan, on the, in the meantime, is gonna be right in front of me here on the jetty, casting out, seeing if he can um, hook one of the Benita with the lure. So we're kind of all spread around trying to do different things, but um, yeah, here in a second, I think I'm gonna throw the drone back up and see if I can get some more aerial shots um, of Kian and uh, see how close he can get to one of those sharks. All right, there are all the birds. Keep an eye out now. We're getting close to all the fish. Poor guy's shark right there. Oh my goodness. He is just hanging out right there. Let's see if I can get a little closer. I'll try to get you guys in the water so you can see him. Well, the birds and the sharks all disappeared. I think they went out to deeper waters. Um, I would go out, but that's right where all the, the boats pass by, so it's not a super safe spot to be in. 
But man, that's amazing. It's so cool to, yeah, be close enough to the beach here where we can come out and see God's creation. It's such a cool way. It reminds me of um, living back on, back on the island, back at Cree. Um, that was a beautiful spot to, uh, to live. I mean, just as uh, the most biodiverse marine environment in the world actually right there. So yeah, swimming with sharks and all sorts of fish. So yeah, the wildlife is um, disappearing and I'm starting to get really cold. The water is like splashing on my feet, so they're freezing off. I have no idea how Hudson got all the way in. It's crazy. Whew, this water is freezing. But um, so far no flounder. I'm just gonna continue swimming on top of the surface of the water and I uh, hope I see one. And then towards the end of the jetties, dive down and um, maybe catch a couple squirrel fish. I can hardly talk, it's so cold. Cold, very cold, Woo. and no fish. But great to get in the water. I need to go check up on the boys, see where they're at. Hopefully, they had better luck than I did. So, right now, um, because today we've got a north wind coming in. It's a little colder than usual, and it brings these bonita up in the showers. What? I'm warming up, slowly but surely. Is that jacket working? Oh, there's one right there. Okay. Here. Oh, hold on, here comes one. I can't, can't, can't. Look, 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 look. So I, I just saw what he was doing, guys. There's all these little, like, krill in the water. Little tiny sea creatures. And so what the Benita are doing is they're coming in, and then they spin sideways and open up their mouths, and they just stem them off of the water. And maybe that's why we're not able to catch them with the lure, because they're not even after that. I thought at first they were after little minnows and stuff, but really, they're just going after these tiny, these tiny little... I don't, even, I don't even know what they are. So, there might actually not be much hope of catching them today. But it's still fun to watch them. I'm just enjoying seeing them pass by. Whoa, look guys. You guys need to toss into that. If there's that many. All right, all right, you got us, Asher. Bring them in. Nice cuz. As the bonita we're going through, it looks like there's some bluefish mixed in with, in with them right now. And uh, Asher hooked into three. We got two in. Um, now we're just both tossing these little uh, gotcha lures. And uh, we'll see if we can get any more before we head out here in a few minutes. Oh, hear that drag scream. Oh. Nice one, Logan. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Can you want to grab the net? Here, watch out, watch out, watch out. The sun is setting and it's time to pack up and take off. It's been just a perfect day at the beach. It's a little chilly, so it's definitely time to get home. I'm still pretty cold actually from 
for my Arctic dip. I haven't quite warmed up from that yet, but um, the walk back to the car should should do the job. But yeah, the boys caught some great fish, so time to get back home. And um, it's been, yeah, just a perfect day at the beach. Great to get out of the house. We're so excited about starting this next year, 2022. So the start of the new year has always been a time where the boys and I kind of just gain perspective, refocus our goals, um, and we're doing that this year. And really, as we've kind of been discussing things, there, there's so many ways that we could be distracted here in the US, and we really want to maximize our time this year. We have a whole year before us. We're going to be here in Niceville. We really want to use the time um, to the best of our abilities and really use it um, for God's purposes. As Christians, we have so much purpose to live for. Christ died on the cross for our sins. He saved us from our sins. He's paid the debt. And because of that, we have gained salvation. We have gained all spiritual blessing. And Christ has prepared an inheritance, an eternal inheritance for us when we've reached the end of our race. And so we should be thrilled. We have so much to live for. And yet, it's so easy to get distracted. It's so easy to pursue the lesser things in life and not to stay focused, not to stay on mission for God and for his kingdom to make disciples and to bring him glory in all that we do. And so the boys and I, as we've just kind of been planning out the rest of this year and getting refocused, man, we want to maximize our time for God's glory, for his purposes. So I would encourage you guys to do the same thing. Think through the rest of this year, the goals that you're making, how can you serve Christ? And give some perspective. You know, why are you here? Where is all this going? What is God's mission? And how can you intentionally play a part in that? And so, yeah, we have so much to look forward to, so much to be excited about in 2022. Let's not waste this year. Man, what a great way to start off this year with coming to the beach, hanging out with Logan, catching some fish. It's just been a perfect day. So we're ready to get back home, warm up a little bit, and um, start this, this new year strong. Hey, special shout out to all of our patrons. Thank you guys so much, we appreciate you. Thanks for all your support this last year. And we can't wait to start off this new year 2022 with you guys. So thank you. We couldn't make these videos without you guys. Yep. Yeah, God bless guys. See you later. Happy New Year. Thanks for watching The Wild Way. And double thanks if you've already liked or subscribed to our YouTube channel. If you want to get more involved with us, visit our Patreon website. Hit the link below to learn how you can become a member of our Patreon team and partner with us. Also, you'll get awesome benefits like exclusive vlog videos, like Wild Brothers merchandise, and a lot more.